<laughs> Back again. Back again. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are giving you guys a life update because we have so many things going on right now. So many things. It is kind of crazy. Some days I wake up and I'm like, how are we going to get it all done? But we are trying our best. Yeah, we got a checklist about <laughs> yay long. Yeah. And we're making it work. We are making it work. Yes. Where do we begin? I vote at the bittersweet moment in our lives, and that is... Closing our Etsy store. Princess and her frog. Yes. The Princess and her frog was a vision that we had from a few years ago now. Mm -hmm. And we, it didn't actually start as an Etsy store. We started as a Shopify store. So many trials and errors and learning how to have an online store. We eventually moved it to Etsy and we decided to do that because that is where we were getting most of our sales. And ultimately, it carried us through the pandemic. Like it definitely helped us financially through the pandemic. It was a lifesaver for yeah. sure. Yeah. It helped us survive like mm -hmm. just being performers and having this job where we were performing every single day to getting off the road to it felt like nothing. Like it, mm -hmm. it helped us like mentally get through that as well. Yeah. And we hit our first 100K in sales. That was exciting. That was really exciting. Yeah. And this year, we obviously have been growing so much on social media, which is amazing. We are always grateful and thankful to you guys for yes. helping us grow and kind of realize what our dreams are now. If you guys want us to do a separate episode on our Etsy store and how we hit our first 100K and everything about running an Etsy store, just let us know in the comments. For those that don't know, we actually have a townhome in Houston, Texas, and we've recently decided that we're going to be selling that as well. Yeah, and that's yeah. a little bittersweet too, yeah. because we originally bought that house and we were gonna live in it. We were working on the cruise ship. We wanted to invest in property so that when we got off the road, we had a place to live. And then my family that was living there, my aunt and my sister, it just so happened that they moved, both of them in the same year. Because of that, we decided to relocate to California. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we would have just been by ourselves in Texas. Exactly. So that was kind of why we decided to continue to have our home in Texas be a rental property mm -hmm. and move to California. At times it was quite challenging maintaining the home from afar, be us being in California and Houston, it's not exactly a quick, you know, three hour drive. It's more a of three a three hour flight. flight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we figured we'd go ahead and pull our investment out of Texas and that property and hopefully reinvest in some things out here, which we are also very excited yes. about. And so once we sell our home, we'll be talking a little bit more about our next investment. And I Big dreams, big plans. Yep, <laughs> big <laughs> dreams, big plans. I'm hoping that it'll all work out. Um, as things start to happen, we will continue to update you guys so you can see like when we sell our home, what our next investment is gonna be, and just share the whole process with you guys. Yeah, we're really excited about this. Yeah. We just realized that Aiden is sleeping. I'm like lifting his arms and like waving them around. I had no idea. You should maybe try to put oh, him down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby, mommy didn't know. <laughs> well, that didn't work, but with Aiden being a sleeper, he's slowly becoming a traveler as well. He's smiling. <laughs> We just got back from a road trip from Arizona, so that was his first state that he visited. Look, he's smiling. He's got a big smile. He's smiling. You wanna yeah. smile for the camera? You wanna smile for the camera? Say. Hello. <laughs> now that Aiden is a traveler officially, yes. we have tons of plans for him to continue to travel. 
and all of us actually, not just him. <laughs> Our goal is to have him as well traveled as his parents. Exactly. Yes. So if you guys have, oh, you can't even see the whole wall. If you guys <laughs> have been following us on Instagram and TikTok, and if you don't, make sure that you are. We are very well traveled thanks to our professional skating career. We have been able to go all over the world and we wanna make sure that Aiden gets that same experience but at a young age. But we're hoping to kind of transition, not completely transition our page. We'll still share with you guys our life and day to day and think that we're doing but we do wanna do more vlogs as well and specifically travel vlogs where we do things. We're gonna start with things around California. Yep. Start small. And then eventually, you know, we'll go out of the country yeah. and to some really cool vacation spots with Aiden. It's really cool because for me, it's going to be a twofer because for one, we get to create content, show you guys, share with you guys, but also stuff for us. Yeah. Memories. Yeah. You know? So many amazing memories yeah. planned for the future. <laughs> I mean, you get memories every day with a kid though. I swear. I mean, even just the two of us, things yeah. happen, little yeah. things happen. And we're just like, wow. Like, it's happened to me quite a few times. We're walking down the street. Just the other day, we were taking Mariah to get her uh, nails done. And I, I I just stopped in my tracks and I just took in the moment, you know? Aiden was in the stroller. We had Lily next to us. Mariah was smiling with her coffee. <laughs> and it was, just, it was just a beautiful moment. Like, you really gotta take in those little moments in time, you know? Like, just yeah. put the phone down and just... Soak it all in. Yes. For sure, because you know what? He's already, he's almost three months and time flew so fast. It did. Man. I feel like I blinked and yeah. we were at the hospital. I blinked and wow. now he's going to be three months in a couple days. I'm getting teary eyed just now. Oh, oh, man. You are always crying. I'm such a softie. Somebody wrote that in Instagram. This man is always crying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in tune with my emotions. <laughs> I know he's an emotional yeah. guy. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Keeping on the topic of doing more vlogs, we are in the market for a babysitter. We are. We mm. have finally decided, which was really hard for me, mm. um, but I realized that we can't do it all. I mean, nobody is, uh oh, you okay? Yeah? No. <laughs> Nobody is able to do everything all by themselves and especially like with Peter and I growing on social media We realize that our goal is going to eventually be to have a team that helps us We did decide to get a social media manager as well mm -hmm. um, that manages all of our emails and negotiates all of our deals because that was just something that was also very overwhelming you can, for you us. You can drown in those emails. Oh yeah. yeah, and then you have to like go back and forth and negotiate, mm -hmm. and then you spend all this time negotiating, and then they send you a contract that doesn't say what you negotiated. Yeah. And then just dead in the water. Yeah, so um, we did decide to get a social media manager, and that was really great, and now we are getting a babysitter, hopefully very soon. Yeah. Um, and we are going to have the babysitter come to our house yes. and just be be here like with us with us yeah. and just taking care of Aiden and we also want to start skating again and we just felt like we couldn't really do all the things that we want to do and showcase all the things that we want to showcase without getting the additional help of a babysitter and I know some of you guys are gonna be like well you guys are in California what about your family um, we definitely have the help of my family and we see them all the time, but right now we live an hour away from them. So it's not really realistic for us to drive the hour just for someone to look after him for three hours or, or something. Or ask them to drive in the California traffic to come down here. Yeah, traffic yeah. is, Ooh, oh my God. The, and the 91 specifically, like, ugh. So um, we're hoping to, you know, find someone that is able to help us just a few hours a week, mm -hmm. um, just so that we can kind of get to where we want to get to. Once we reach that goal of getting a babysitter, we're really hoping to get back into training mode and start skating together back on the ice mm -hmm. and in our rollers. It's not something that just happens like this. We're gonna have to work out and we're yeah. gonna have to lift Ooh. and then we're gonna have to practice and then get to filming. So Ooh, it'll be- Ooh child, after two years? <laughs> Ooh child. Ooh child, after two years of like no training, quite literally like, yeah. It's, it's gonna, gonna take some time. Back, back to square one. Yeah. yeah, it kind of felt like that. Like you're starting from zero. Yeah, I mean, we've already lifted. 
you know, it was it was great. It was high energy, but I felt it the next like two days after. Yeah, yeah same. So. Yeah. So we'll share that experience with you guys too, so you can see how we, you know, get from having a baby, yeah. being off the road for two years, to doing content and things like that for social media. We know it's possible, so we just want you guys along for the ride and, and to show that it can be done. Yes, exactly. Yes. yes. <laughs> Lastly, in our life update, we are making a massive change in terms of relocation. Exactly. Yeah. We are moving. We don't know where yet. <laughs> yes, we don't know where yet. There are two locations that we are considering. One of them is actually closer to my family. Mm -hmm. They live in the Inland Empire and right now we are in LA County. The other location is closer, but it's not as close. So we will keep you guys updated on what we find, where we're gonna go, because we don't really know. Some reasons why we decided to move was primarily the location. You know, when we settled on this place here, we were just starting to talk about having kids and it wasn't really decided yet at that moment. But I was already pregnant and we didn't know. We had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Being here in downtown area, things changed. And what we're looking for, you know, I'm on, I'm on those uh, real estate apps and one of my keywords for the searches is backyards <laughs> and garages. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah. Cause we definitely need some space for Aiden. And, and Lily, like, yes. you know, I think moving into apartment with a dog is, and Lily's a very high energy dog. I think if you have a dog. Small dog. Yeah, she's small. Yeah, but she's, energy. Yeah, she loves to <laughs> run, jump, we call it parkour, <laughs> like. <laughs> she's, she's a linebacker for sure. She, yeah. yeah, she is. So we realize we really do need a backyard. Yeah. And um, so yeah, we're hoping to get a condo somewhere. Mm -hmm. And somewhere with a garage, like we want our sure. own garage. Yeah. So yeah, maybe we'll take you guys um, house hunting with us. That might be fun. That might be a cool idea. That is pretty much it. We're gonna sign off now. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. We, like we said, we have so much going on. So if you guys wanna stay in the know, see what's going on, make sure you guys are following us and also follow us on Instagram and TikTok because we definitely post on there a little bit more mm -hmm. and we share a slightly different aspect of our lives like on stories and things like that. So make sure you don't miss out. Have, have a, a good, good day. day.